Hey everybody, this is Jace with RMUS giving you another Tech Connect video centered around the M30 and M30T. Specifically in this video, we're taking a look at the new remote. Again, if you're familiar with DJI systems, you'll know that this remote is brand new. So let's dive in and take a closer look. So first thing you'll notice is the different configuration. If you're familiar with a lot of DJI systems, you'll know this is a new remote for the M30 series. It's a little bit larger. With that comes the larger screen. Of course, it has the brightness and daylight performance that you'd expect to see out of the enterprise level DJI aircraft remotes. Also, what you'll notice is an abundance of not really shortcut buttons, but function buttons. So each of these buttons relates to a unique function depending on which payload you're in. So if you're in IR or zoom or the wide lens, these functions will vary depending on the sensor payload that you have selected. Of course, we have our standard control with the gimbal sticks, our power, our return to home button. We also have a mission pause button up at the top. And then going to the top of the remote, again, standard things we, we plan to expect from enterprise level aircraft, which is USB-C, which is your primary charging port, our HDMI port for HDMI out, USB-A, so jump drives, external hard drives, transferring of data, um, for perhaps third-party payloads for speakers, and also the micro SD slot, again, for transferring data, maybe screenshots or screen recordings. On the back, we have our C1, C2, again, which is what we have come to expect, as well as an addition of a C3 button. So between these combinations, again, these are customizable along with the C3, and with the, with the addition of the five directional D-pad up here, we have 19 different customizable functions with these are, with, uh, as a shortcut button with, between the C1, 2, 3, and the five directional pad combos. So incredibly customizable. If you could remember 19 unique customizable functions, I'd be extremely impressed. Again, going back to the top, we've got our shutter release button, our video start and stop record, a new toggle switch on the side, which is very satisfying, and our standard rollers up and down, left and right, and shutter release, or and our exposure control, or it varies again, depending on your function. In the zoom camera, it's your zoom function. Finally, we wanna talk about the battery system. The, this remote does have an internal battery as well as a removable battery. This is the WB37 battery. It's what you've come to expect. Auxiliary batteries for a smart remote and the Crystal Sky. So you'll be able to take any equipment you had in the past, or at least some of it, with the WB37 as augment batteries for your remote for the M30. All right, so that's our look at the remote for the M30 and M30T series. Of course, for more information, contact the RMUS team about the M30 for any quoting or additional questions and look for us on the next video.